Hello Sunset Lakes residents. Today we're going to be going over the new system that you have all been hearing about, Dwelling Life. Dwelling Life will give you complete access for your guest entry and ultimately it will make the process easier for your, not just the residents of Sunset Lakes but their guests as well, which are very important to us. So today we are going to just pretty much verify and go through um, the basics for the system and also uh, what is needed for on your end to make sure that the account is successful from this point on and before launch date. We hope that this tutorial will kind of guide you um, into being reassured of the new plan and making sure that the system is successful for everyone in the community. Please, if you guys have any questions for us, do not hesitate in contacting us at 954-443-1792 or stopping by the office anytime from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're more than happy to help you with any registered um, codes that you still need or um, just to update the account completely. Please also, you have our emails provided down below in the bio. Um, so just reach out to us with any comments, concerns, or anything that we're able to make everyone's lives easier um, with this new transition. Thank you. So this is going to be the Dwelling Live login site. You're going to see to your left the login option. To the right, it's going to say register account. Underneath register account, you will go down here to a, I have a one-time use registration code. You're going to click on it. The next thing you're going to see is it will ask you for the registration code. You will copy and paste and then also include your email. You're going to re-enter the same email and you're going to create your password. You will confirm your password as well. You will register. As soon as you register, you're going to see this one pop-up come out. This pop-up pretty much just gives you the option of downloading the mobile app for iPhone or Android users as well. You just are going to click on don't show this again and put no thanks. This will bring you to the main home page for each one of you. Right here, before we start with the guest, you're going to confirm a couple of things. The first thing you're going to see is a verbal confirmation code. This confirmation code that we were given is blue. You're able to change this to any other confirmation code that you wish. This confirmation code works for the security guards or in the outer parcels as well for when you want to make a sudden change to the account and you wish to contact the security guards. The security guards with any information that before you give them, they will ask you what is your verbal confirmation code just to make sure that it is actually you that is calling. The second thing you're going to see is call restrictions. This call restriction for right now, we have no call after 6 p.m. You're able to change this for any other time or make any call restrictions besides this that you wish. The third option is going to say call priority. You will have your first, second, third, and fourth number that you wish for the security guards to contact you. You will then save preference. Once you save, you are going to see your guest list. Right now, this is all of our guest lists in the order of temporary, permanent, party, or restricted. You will come up here right to where it says add guest. Here you will see options, temporary guest, permanent guest, or party attendee. You're going to select the type. So it could be a guest. Let's put Maria Rodriguez, company, let's say she's your mother, so you will put mother. If you know the individual's email address, you will attach it here. Email address is very important for those that you know will be coming into the community and you wish to send them an e-pass, which will be right down here, right next to save. You're able to send them an e-pass that brings, that brings a QR code. They are able to access the community by showing the security guards or in the kiosk of the outer parcels this QR code. You are able to print or use it through your phone. It will scan both the same with the email attached. Let's say that this individual does not have an email. Then you will leave it like this. Any notes for the attendant that you wish to inform the security guards, you would include here. You're going to have a start date. So I know that she will be visiting me from the 27th until let's say Friday the 31st. You will put save 
as soon as it is saved, you will see her right up here, start end date. She is a temporary guest that would only be visiting me these next days. If you wanna make any changes to any of the guests that you guys add, you will go to edit. Here you're able to actually convert her from a temporary to a permanent guest. You will do that as soon as you convert a temporary or you're placing a permanent guest, you will see down here the options change. It's no longer giving you dates, it's giving you day type. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's say that my mother has moved back into the state. She is going to she is allowed to visit me any day. You will have this all check marked. Let's say that I only want her to visit Sunday through Thursday. I'm also able to uncheck mark Friday and Saturday and put save. From this point, now let's say she's already added as a guest, perfect. The next option you're going to have is add party. So let's say that you know every Saturday you're going to have a book club. So let's say Saturday book club Let's put it for Saturday, and you're going to have three different options. New party list, import list from file, or use previous party list. So this is the first time I'm creating a party. I'm going to have my invites. Right here, I'm adding as I go. Let's say this is my book club, these three individuals. For one weekend, Chris isn't going to be able to make it. I'm just able to remove them in one click and press save. This will save my party. I will then come here to my main list and I will look for Saturday book club. This Saturday book club would be under P. Let's say that I'm going to have another event so I'm going to have a birthday party so now that I'm creating my new birthday party let's say I don't have to include the new party list because I already have a previous party list let's say everyone from my Saturday book club will be also attending as soon as you click previous party list and the listed name you will see that my guest will already pop up without me having to rewrite their names. Let's say I want to include more people to my list. I'm also able to do so for my birthday party. I will then save. So it's pretty simple. It will bring you back as soon as it saves to the main page. Now, the third option, restrict guest. You click on this. It's going to be someone that for whatever reason, you just don't want to um, be constantly visiting you or to not visit you at all. You're going to put their first name. If you wanna include the company or their email address as well, and notes. So for the restrict guest, um, you just wanna include, please do not allow, or anything that you want to include for the security guards to notate for this individual. You could even include a license plate number. That's where you will do so. You will click save. Oh, sorry, company. So let's say, hmm. let's just use something. The moment that you hit save, of course, it will bring you again to the main page. Down here, all your restricted guests are going to be in red. Now, to finish off this main page, you're going to see down here, 40th Street Gate, Grand Key, Main Gate, these are directions for your guests that you wish um, for them to have. So let's say you live in the aisles, um, you want them to enter through 40th Street Gate, you're able to put directions for guests and you're able to write here, make first turn, first right turn after gates. Anything you wanna include, you're just going to have to write that right here. You will put save, directions have been saved, okay. Perfect. Now, the most important part when you're registering, you're going to go to my account. In my account, you're going to see users. 
These are going to be all the listed current residents of the property. You need to make sure that the first name, last name, contact numbers, any emails is also provided and more importantly that it's accurate. You will see here, you're able to edit. So when you come to this editing portion, you're going to be able to edit the phone numbers to include more phone numbers for the security guards to contact you. You're also going to be able to choose the way you want to be notified when a guest has is coming in to the community. So it could either be through text message or through email every single time. If you decide a text message, it's going to ask you to select the phone number and to also include your service provider. You will include and then you're just going to save right down there. Once you save, this is going to be for all residents, you have the options of putting an alternate address. This is going to be right over here, address, city, zip code. Once again, we have the verbal confirmation code over here that we changed from blue to red for the security guards. And then down here, you're going to see vehicles. For vehicles, make sure that the year, color, make, model, license plate, and barcode is accurate for all the current vehicles in the property. Right here, access devices, this is referring to the ID cards um, for the clubhouse that each of you have. Make sure that the ID number in the back is also the same listed with the name um, of the bark of the ID card. This is very important for us to make sure that the account is successful from this point on once we transition completely into dwelling life. If you guys need any corrections for the vehicles, for the ID cards, um, even the residents that are listed, please, 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 it is very crucial that you contact us immediately, either passing by the on-site office Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. till 6, or coming the weekends, 10 a.m. to 6, should you're able to send us over an email, and we're more than happy to make the proper changes to the account um, just to ensure its overall success. So this is pretty much a quick tutorial of the system. If you wish for, to come into the office, we are more than happy to create each account and do it together one by one. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and please do not hesitate in contacting us for any further information. Thank you.